Central New York, we have some flooding concerns today. A flash flood watch is currently in effect for our northern counties, including Oswego, Jefferson, Lewis, and into St. Lawrence County as well. And this is already in effect, and it lasts all the way until Sunday morning. Does not mean we're going to see flooding for that entire period of time. That does mean that we have to keep a very close eye on anything that pops up today because it could come with some localized heavy rain that could cause some flash flooding concerns. Now I think all of us have to keep a close eye on the western sky today because there is just a ton of moisture in the air. These are our current dew points across central New York, and this is just after 630 in the morning. We have oppressive humidity. Temperature or dew point temperatures in the mid 70s for this long, a few days on end is almost unheard of for up here in central New York. And this is why it just feels so sticky and steamy outside. It'll just feel even worse as we head into the day and temperatures climb. Dew points are going to stay right where they are here. Might even climb a little bit further into the mid 70s. Here's why we have an area of low pressure that's anchored just to our west and everything is crawling. It's very slow moving, so that's why we are stuck in this flow of humid air. It will be breezy today. That's going to continue to bring moisture into the air, and that's why we won't see any relief today. Now, when we match this with this approaching cold front, this won't pass through until Sunday, but it will bring enough extra energy out ahead of it to put the risk for some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast anywhere across central New York. The risk is widespread. I don't think everybody will see the heavy rain. Triple Doppler brought to you by Cayuga Community College right now shows our first batch of showers and some weakening thunderstorms pushing off to the east. You can see that some of these are already intensifying quickly and bringing moderate to heavy rainfall. And again, it's so early in the morning when we start to get the heating of the day, bringing even more energy into these. That's why we have to keep a very close eye on anything that pops up today because it could be strong with localized heavy rain and some strong damaging winds. So we'll plan it out for you hour by hour with the future cast by 8 a.m. That first batch of moisture is moving off to the east. Futurecast keeps most of us dry through the late morning and early afternoon, but I think especially in these limited breaks of sunshine, we could see an extra shower or rumble of thunder pop up then. It becomes more scattered and widespread and more powerful the later we head into the day. We're reaching highs near 90 in the upper 80s for most of us. And with all of that humidity, as that extra energy pushes through, we have to keep a very close eye on localized heavy downpours. Anything that pops up could take all of that moisture in the air and bring it right to the surface. It's almost exactly like yesterday. If you got caught in one of those showers and storms, it rained hard, but then it moved on pretty quickly. That's what we're looking at today, too. We do have to keep an eye on any of these showers and storms that start to organize into lines like this. They can work together, become a little bit more powerful, and that's where we're watching the biggest risk for uh, some damaging winds as well. So hot, hazy, humid, oppressive today. 85 for your Sunday, though still humid, a smaller chance for showers and thunderstorms. And I think humidity will be easing off just a little bit. Sunday night into Monday, that is your day to breathe a sigh of relief. First night in a while, temperatures will be dropping back into the 60s. So I think that's when you can finally turn the AC off. But it's short-lived. Heat and humidity are back by the